Hi guys, welcome to this beautiful day. It's a sunny afternoon, a bit windy, but anyhow, I feel great talking about bikes. So thank you guys for showing me great appreciation for my previous videos. Uh, see, this is something uh, or, you know, uh, making vlogs or making videos is something new to me. And, uh, you know, I've never done it in my life. And it takes a lot of, uh, you know, effort to make these videos. And I'm pretty damn nervous recording every single video and great amount of editing <laughs> goes into it. So thank you for appreciating my videos. And today I'm just going to make it a very sweet and simple video talking about knee grips knee grips tank grip tank pad whatever you want to call it so many of you would be interested uh, to know why this tank grip is so important right tank grip knee grip is so important uh, so guys in case you uh, own an apache rr310 or if in case you own rc series of bike or uh, you know any such bike uh, which have a very dedicated position of riding these tank grips definitely help you a lot what they do is they provide you with that extra grip to hold on to your tank and that helps you to lessen uh, or uh, you know uh, decrease the pressure on your hand your wrist your shoulders your back because when you are gripping your tank you know you can very well feel that it's really uh, easy to hold on to your handlebar very lightly when you do not have that kind of support on your uh, knees or your thighs the entire body weight goes down to your wrists so guys uh, let me just show you what i actually mean about this uh, knee grip because i feel practicality is always better than uh, theoretical knowledge that is what i truly believe in so guys what i actually mean is that when you're riding your bike you uh, you know you sit in an upright position or whichever uh, position you want to sit into you put your uh, legs right here on your tank right you grip your tank like this you you know hold your handle like this whatever it is and uh, then you know you drive your bike you ride your bike but at the end of the day what happens is that you are putting too much pressure you're putting too much pressure on your wrists because you are sitting right up front with no space between you and the tank right you're sitting right up front so this puts a lot of pressure on your shoulders and as well as your wrists right because it's completely like this you know it puts that kind of pressure onto it so there's a proper way of uh, riding wherein you do not uh, you know put that kind of pressure on your wrists your shoulders your back everything and that position is sitting completely back okay to the extent where you are comfortable and you can easily reach your handle uh, handlebars and then you grip your tank you grip your tank and then you know you loosely you know you do not put any kind of pressure on your shoulders or your uh, hands and you just loosely hold on to your uh, uh, throttle and your uh, you know uh, your handlebar and then you you know just gently give acceleration brake in whatever it is you do not put that kind of pressure like this right so for that you need to have that kind of grip to your tank which this knee grip provides okay it provides you that grip and lets you lock in your uh, thighs in a position where you are most comfortable in you want to sit like this you hold on to your tank like uh, like so and then it doesn't move anywhere because it has that kind of grip to it and as you can see i'm sitting quite back you know there's a lot of uh, distance between the tank and me and this is basically how i do my cruising on this bike but in case i'm uh, if uh, you know i do not have that tank uh, this knee grip what would happen is even if i'm sitting right uh, here and i'm holding on to the tank like this initially you know because there is no grip i will be coming down like this okay and then again my wrist would uh, you know i'll be in uh, you know that kind of position wherein the pressure would be on my hands my shoulders and then my wrist would start paining my back my shoulders everything would hurt and then i would not enjoy my ride so i did not want to be in that kind of position and that is the reason i installed these knee grips uh, so for all you guys who understand the importance of a knee grip and you know want to install it on your bikes and especially this one uh, the apache rr310 
mind you guys you would be required to put in that kind of extra effort into installing it and purchasing it and so on and so forth because as i told you in my previous videos there is nothing available for this bike as of now in the market and that is the price that you pay when you are early adopters of something that has just been launched so there is nothing available this knee grip that you see here i bought it uh, from aliexpress this uh, knee grip actually belongs to uh, a ducati 848 right a ducati 848 and uh, i purchased it uh, the one that i got was a rectangular one you know it was this kind of a shape from here to here but i did not want to you know cover this screw up <laughs> that's funny uh, yeah so i did not want to cover this screw up so what i did was i cut it right around here right around here and then you know i gave a cut here as well because uh, in case you know i want to open my tank or uh, you know there is some technical issue and the you know mechanics want to open it up i did not want to remove this completely and then you know open it and then this goes to waste and then i have to order you know a new one all over again and do installation all over again so that is the reason i made this cut and then installed it on my bike so it takes a little bit of effort from your side but yes uh, it will you know uh, definitely give a better look to your bike okay as well as you know it is functional so aesthetics and functionality both go hand in hand when you know uh, you come to a knee grip so guys uh, thank you and uh, please like and share my video and definitely do subscribe in case if you find uh, my video to be of any use thank you so much be safe ride hard